You've probably heard that you can easily make six figures in the cloud industry, but are you getting the full story? I'm going to walk you through some of the different technical cloud roles you can get, as well as what salary ranges you can expect for each role. I'm going to take it one step further. I am also going to break down the salary expectations based on experience. So what salary you should expect as a junior, mid-level, and then as a senior engineer. I know a lot of our audience are based in the US and the UK, so I'm going to be providing the salary numbers based on both of these countries. By the end of this episode, you will not only know about the four main cloud careers you can have, but how much you can make at the different stages in your career from entry level all the way to senior positions. But before we do that, I wanna give a quick disclaimer about salary ranges. The reality is that a lot of factors go into how much you can get paid. For example, what city you live in, as major cities pay better than smaller towns, or how big the company recruiting you is. For example, Google can afford to pay more than a small startup. So just bear these factors in mind when we talk about salary. If you're excited to learn about this, then make sure you hit the like button on YouTube because it encourages me to share more stories like this. Also, why not subscribe if you're new here so you can get notified when we release new videos. Welcome to Cloud Career Mentor. I am your host, Anna, and the first two roles we're gonna talk about are the cloud engineer and the DevOps roles. The reason I'm combining the two is because they have similar responsibilities and salary brackets. They both focus on building, automating, and maintaining the cloud infrastructure of an organization. Cloud engineers focus on helping businesses migrate their infrastructure from on-premise data centers to the cloud, administrating the day-to-day -day management of the cloud environment, and ensuring that the cloud infrastructure is secure, scalable, and reliable. While DevOps engineers focus on creating pipelines, writing automations, and generally streamlining deployment and troubleshooting processes. Now let's talk about how much money they make. In the UK, if you are entry level, you can expect to earn between 30K to 40K per year, which is good for the UK because the average salary for all UK workers is about 33K. So if you're able to get 30K for an entry level position, you're doing quite well. As you gain more experience and become more of a mid-level engineer, then you can expect your salary to rise to between 45K to 60K. When you become a senior engineer, you can expect to earn between 65K to 80K. This seems to be the upper limit of how much a cloud engineer can make in the UK. And to earn more, you will need to transition to another role, such as a solution architect. But we'll get to that soon. This data is confirmed by this Glassdoor report on cloud engineer salary ranges in the UK. As you can see, it shows the low range to be 40K, the average or mid-level to be about 53K, and the high range to be 71K. While the UK is quite predictable and stable in the salary bands, the US is a different story altogether. Are you interested in getting your first cloud job? If you answered yes, then I have a free guide just for you. This free guide walks you through a proven step-by-step -step process to help you get that first cloud job. It walks you through the three simple steps you can take today to make yourself highly employable. The link is in the description below, so make sure you download it now if you're interested. All right, let's get back to the show. Entry-level cloud engineers can expect to earn between 60 to 90K starting salary. The US is a big country and each city has different economics that influence the salary decision. As you move up to mid-level engineer position, you can expect to earn between 90 to $130,000. When you become a senior cloud engineer, you can expect to earn between $130,000 to $160,000. While most of you might be familiar with the cloud engineer job title, you might be less familiar with the next role I'm gonna talk about, which is the Site Reliability Engineer or SRE role. A Site Reliability Engineer is simply someone that is responsible for making sure that a website or web application is always online and that the site is performant as possible. 
For example, in most organizations, the site reliability engineer is the one responsible for making sure a website never goes down by proactively implementing, logging, monitoring, and alerting on the system to make sure they can catch errors early and react quickly if the site does go down. Site reliability engineers are in high demand and because of how critical the work they do is, there are not too many entry-level roles available. But if you are in the UK, you can expect your first SRE job to pay between £50,000 to £65,000. As you get more experience and become mid-level, you can expect your salary to rise between £70,000 to £85,000. And as you become more senior, you can expect to earn £90,000 plus. In the US, as an SRE beginner, you can expect to earn between 100K to 125K. As a mid-level, you can expect between 130K to 150K. And as a senior, you can expect 160,000 plus. Now let's talk about the most popular roles in the cloud industry. This is one of the highest paid cloud roles, as well as the roles most cloud beginners aim for. What role is this, I hear you ask? I am of course talking about the solution architect role. A solution architect is responsible for making architectural decisions on what cloud services are used to solve business problems. This involved gathering and documenting the goal of the project, understanding the business needs and constraints, and making the best architectural decisions to meet the business goal in the most effective way possible. This position is not really accessible to cloud beginners as you need a minimum of three to five years of experience in the cloud industry to be considered for a solution architect position. But let's talk money. In the UK, you can expect to earn between £60,000 to £120,000, depending on your experience. And in the US, you can expect to earn between $70,000 and $160,000. Now that you understand the different cloud roles available and are ready to get that first cloud job, why not check us out at cloudcareermentor.com where you can learn how to create high quality cloud projects using technologies like AWS, Terraform, Git, CICD, Python, and more using a proven learning plan to build up your cloud skills and make yourself more employable. You can get started by clicking here. If you want to find out the proven process you can use to make your journey into a cloud career as simple as possible, why not check out this video?